Hi VC. I wanted to make a video that was something different today, not just a usual vinyl update, but concentrate on something that was very close to my heart uh, in the early 1990s. It was very much, I was a teenage indie kid. Sounds a little bit of a confession, I know, but before I was more into rock and then all the other things that I like now, I was student, uh, working in a record shop. So Manchester, Manchester, as they called it, I was very much into and had a very stupid haircut as well, sort of like a basin with an undercut. So without further ado in this cube, I have some uh, indie bands from uh, early 90s in the UK. So we start with Charlatans, some friendly album. And that's some twelves by the charlatan because it wasn't just a album sort of culture; it was a twelve-inch sort of a culture. So we have the only one I know, probably their biggest, best-known record. This is Charlatans UK, obviously. Uh, then there was another hit, a hit single there. Uh, I think this was a reissue, Indian Rope, after the previous two singles had been uh, hits. Uh, this is from the next album, I think. That's a promo. Of weirdo uh, blue tones. I don't know whether that was so much. I think that was more like mid 90s. We've got an album by James, of course, from Manchester, three pounds there. From, I must have bought that like later when sort of some shop was closing down or something. Don't know this one because I think I found this recently as well. The telescopes, not sure what that is, whether it's a bit more shoegazy. Ah. It's a very good psychedelic album by a band from Liverpool called Dr. Fibes and the House of Wax Equations, 91. Sorry if I appear to be sniffling, but I've got bad hay fever and I've tried to do this video a few times, but just keeps sneezing. A uh, band called Cud, a square is that one's called. Uh, this one's When in Rome Kill Me, Leggy Mambo. Some twelves there. Let's skim over them, maybe. Band from London called Saint Etienne. It's called Fox Base Alpha. Uh, this is um, I don't know if you can see that Perfume by Paris Angels. And we've got that album here, Sunju. Uh, some eight oh eight state. Oh, sorry, that's Paris Angel. Uh, 808 State. I don't know whether these would sound quite dated now. It's about early uh, 90s dance music. Interstellar. Um, 5.30. That's a 12. A band from around this sort of area where I live, the southeast, very near England, was Thousand Yard Stair. And that was a promo, I think I got that from a gig that I went to. I uh, thought I had more of theirs, but maybe not. Black Grape, this was uh, uh, Sean Ryder Band um, after Happy Mondays had finished, so this was more mid 90s. Then we've got Happy Mondays 12 inch, so we've got. I can't remember what this one was called, is it Rope for Luck, I think maybe? And we've got Loose Fit. Loose Fit Remix, uh, Judge Fudge. Now this was from the album, I think it was the last album that they did. We've got Kinky Afro, we've got Step On, Manchester, Rave On, which has got Hallelujah on it, I think, yeah. Uh, Happy Mondays, 24 Hour Party People. From the film, of course. Got a bit of New Order here. This is a, a soccer football record. That's the remix. That's the original one. The footballer rapping on it. <laughs> this is Ride, 12 inch. Uh, leave them all behind. Uh, then there was a band from near London, I think, called Flowered Up. And this was their uh, debut album. Weekender. 
take it. A promo, I think it's on. And egg rush. I think is that the same? Yeah, that's the same. And it's on the Sonia candy flip strawberry fields forever. Ah, this is a band, the Right Said Fred EP cover version. So I've got um, flowered up. Don't talk, just kiss. Deeply, deeply, rocking birds and uh, I'm too sexy, Saint Etienne. The real people. It's a band from Liverpool. And there again, uh, Northside band from Manchester. Let's take five, and then we've got uh, my rising star. Shall we take a trip? Uh, this is the album that they did. Funky uh, Chicken Rhythms. Funky Rhythms. Ah, a band I did definitely did like. You can see that with all the little Gorbachev uh, heads and other, well, shall we say just tabs. This was a band called The Hollow Men. And they were from Leeds. And I will definitely remember going to see them in the back of, van, of a van in London. Uh, the Dark Side, I don't know that one. Listen to that, I don't think. 25th of May. Uh, got Inspiral Carpets now. Um, dragging Me Down to 12 inch. Then we've got, let's see. Well, this is how it feels. It's a really big hit. And then the debut album was called Life. And then the second album was a bit more experimental. That's The Beast Inside. And I don't have any other ones by them. Uh, we've got some 4AD here, we've got some shoegaze sort of pale saints, we've got flesh balloon, and barging into the presence of God, we've got uh, a slow dive um, debut EP, I think, with a signed poster here, which I guess I could take it, I don't suppose this has probably seen the light of day for, for many, many years. Okay, they're holding our breath. Did you see that? The very expensive uh, these phone phone lines that we used to have in the UK. The uh, 0898 number on it there. Hear it now. Only, what's that? 45p a minute. Ooh. Okay. Just pop that back in there. Okay, we've got Chapter House. It's an EP called Mesmerise. We've got the album by Chapter House, Whirlpool. Uh, this is Revolver. Heaven Sent an Angel. Good band, this one. World of Twist. That one is... I'm not sure, is that one? I don't remember what that one is, but I think I might have two of it. I think it's She's a Rainbow. Cover of the Rolling Stones song. And then The Storm, that was our debut hit single. Some very retro 70s looking uh, chrome kettles. And the Rain. This was actually a guy that I knew who was, who was a rep for the, for the company, I think, and he signed it for me. Uh, we've got The Weed Bus by The Stairs, that's another Scouse band. A 60s retro style cover going on. Uh, I've got a cast album here, which I must have picked up more recently. I think this, at this stage had probably gone a bit more psychedelic. We've got a Teenage Fan Club album called Songs from Northern Britain. They are, of course, from Scotland. Uh, I've got a Supergrass debut album. I should Coco. Ah. Very iconic Carter 30 something. Carter the Unstoppable Sex Machine. I have a 12 inch by them here. Rubbish. With uh, a B side of Rent there. By Pet Shop Boys, obviously. Um, the Farm. All together now, 12 inch. Um, uh, Suede. Debut album. Uh, a couple of EMF albums. This is a really good album. 
Schubert deck, and then we've got this one, Stigma. And then, last but not least, I suppose the most iconic band of that period genre, Stone Roses. So I've got a 12 inch of Begging You in the second album. Printing it, I've got Love Spreads, uh, some drum and bass remixes of Fool's Gold, uh, normal Fool's Gold, oh sorry, Fool's Gold 95. Uh, got the second coming double album on Geffen, and they signed to Geffen, and then didn't do anything else. <laughs> and it took them long enough to do that one. And then I have still got my copy of Stone Roses first album. So that's just to take you through them. Uh, sorry, I haven't really talked about anything in depth. Maybe I will uh, the next time. So I hope you enjoyed that, and that was an interesting trip back for some of you, and um, some new quick covers uh, and names for you to look up maybe. Thanks and see you soon. Bye.